Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the one-to-many relationship. So, what is this one-to-many relationship? Let's try to see it. In here, Notepad. One-to-many relationship means normally what we can say is in the SQL SQL corpus that we have a something like persons person state person let's assume we have a person let's say my name only so I, I am a person assume that i have two addresses okay two addresses i'm having a two so that means one thing is will be i'm staying in the new york and another thing is i'm staying in the, these are the two addresses so that means a person is having two addresses that means something like it one new year and another one is like big strict two postal so these are the two dresses what i'll be having so that means a, a person person with name leela can have many addresses not only two addresses i can have two or three addresses something like like this i can have two or three addresses so a person can have many addresses the thing and one address so the a person can have many addresses so these are the addresses normally what we will try to do is general scenario so we used to have a person table and we used to have a address table and in this address table you have all the address and you will relate with the person under id with the primary key like this or otherwise on to be something like that you can have a person and you can have array of address ids like one comma two comma and you can have an address this is somewhat uh, somewhat not uh, looking but not performance so normally you'll have a person and you have an address table in this address table so you can relate it with the address so x trick address we will be will will belong to the person and also it belongs to the person so like this you're having so that means a person can have many addresses and an address belongs to one person like this you can so how we can do this one in the mongodb thing is can have can have embed embedding have embedded documents that we can have the person details like this have a person details. name lila i can have it like this name lila i can have it. and you can have an address and you can have an array something like this address address for so this is an having an address for a particular person somewhat okay so or otherwise you can have a person collection okay you can have a person collection here you'll be having a person details and you will have an address collection okay i can have an address collection so you can have these are all the addresses addresses with the person id person id so like this also you can so i will try to show you the strict so that depends so if you want to maintain with the reference or you want to maintain with that that depends on your requirement and all those i will tell you when we need to use this reference and when we need to use this embedded document let's try to discuss first let's move on to this here i am creating a yeah, i am creating a db so i am creating a person persons collection that many i will insert many and here i will be using document i have document first one will type leela so and another one will be something like uh, name of krishna These are the two so let's create now a unique uh, object id has been created if i try to see dot person Persons dot find dot pretty. Now we are able to see object and also with the name. Now let's say that we have an addresses. Addresses. Okay, I will try to insert one. Find one. Set one. Set one. So this one like it. One. 
like this i can add it and i can have a city like new york and here i can have country or something so now here i need to write link to this such that to which person this address belongs let's say that this address belongs to them copy this reference and i can paste i have inserted let's try to insert another one take street 2 so they only i will take street 2 and here i will be having a okay and this one is country so for the same person i'll let's try to insert another one for the krishna so here i will be using take street he will be something like by need to take the country of this object id this time it will be yeah. it is all object. i am pasting the object of krishna so this reference. now i will insert again another one another address for a like hyderabad and country is here yeah, so the next street and the same address so that's it now if you try to check the persons dot find guys he dot persons dot find i try to do here i am able to get the persons details lila and krishna now i want to get the address of this lila so now what i can do here one thing what we can do is i need to copy the object id and i need to first you will see the addresses any addresses are dot now we are able to have four addresses so first two belongs to the object uh, Ready object reference is there. First one belongs to the Lila and the second one belongs to the Krishna. So let's try to get the person. I have the name of the person. Okay. So that is nothing but Lila. And I want to get the addresses of this Lila. What I can do first, what I need to do, I need to store in variable person id equal to db dot person persons dot find of you know the name of the person as Lila. I need to get the id of the person. So now I got the person side. Now I want to do something like db dot addresses dot find. Then I need to check person underscore id person for id is equal to person id. Now if I try person underscore id is Okay, okay. We are having two. Add person dot underscore id. Now, if you try to see the person id, Find of take something like find. We are having find one dot and we are able to get find doesn't have this one. Find means send you a cursor pointer so we iterate through the cursor. Know that it will one we can or otherwise if you are using find means then you need to take zero so dot underscore id. Now you will get an option like this. So okay, fine. Let's try to add it in the person id. That person is equal. Got the person id. Okay. And I will do try to do try to find the same. Dot address. Right. Dot addresses person id. Try to click here. So now if you try to see here, we are able to get the addresses of the only particular person. 
Dila. Now, if you try, if you are trying to get the addresses of this thing, so what we are trying to do, we are trying to run the two queries. Okay. So in these scenarios, it is better for us to keep it in the embed documents. Why it is better for us to keep it in the embed documents with rather than the reference means? So for example, let's say that uh, for a person, how many maximum addresses should be there? We can have at most three or four or five addresses. We cannot, uh, we, he cannot have multiple hundreds of addresses, right? So we can have maximum three or five or something. Like that. So there is a limitation is there for a person to have a addresses, minimum addresses. Something like max on 10 addresses. Instead of having like this, let's try to say that instead of having like this, persons dot delete many. So I am deleting these guys. Thing. Instead of having like this, what I can do is I can add a person, persons dot set one, and I can do something like name Leela. And this guy has an addresses such a way that array, be an array. And here I can use tweet x tweet one. I can use page one, and I can use ct. So these are the different types. Is right? So I can use one, and I can use another thing. X tweet page tweet two. I can use another one page two, and I can have a ct some like Boston. Okay, that's it. Now we have inserted one. In the same scenario, we can insert another guy also. The name Krishna. Let's try to add huh? and addresses. You can have something by so that right now Mumbai, and here I can add uh, so that we can embed the document here so that the addresses we assume that now here I can do that db dot persons dot find name is find one so that find one. otherwise we need is Lita and I want the addresses. So now we are able to get all the addresses. Try to see all those things without a find dot pretty. So we can have the person detail along with his addresses. So like this we can use it. So now you need to understand the scenario that the person can have how many types of documents okay fine so you can have at most five or six rather than keeping it in a separate table and adding that reference that that person edit into the address so we can do like this we can do we can do like this we can do like this and we can store the embed document this is how we can do it one to many relationship better way without using the reference how when we need to use the scenario when we need to use the embedded document the next video we will try to see about the subset pattern how we can use the subset pattern in the one to many relationship mongodb let's try to see that is also a one to many relationship i will try to show you hope you understood about this one have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you